scape Iacov. Mishaberach imoteno, Sara Rivna lea verachel. May the one who blessed the mothers, may the one who blessed the fathers, hear our prayer.
Hi, my name is Vance Rees, and I'll be playing a recital for your consideration for Yom Kippur. These are four pieces that I've worked up. The first one is by Fanny Hensel. This is Felix Mendelssohn's sister. And it's a piece she wrote called Melodie. The next piece is called Father Abraham. It's by a composer named Nathaniel Dett. This is the first of his eight Bible vignettes. And I think you'll recognize the familiar tem uh, hymn, uh, Leone, is the traditional name. It's one of the uh, older tunes in our, in our Jewish custom. But you'll also notice another tune. Sometimes I feel like a motherless child. Nathaniel Dett is a Canadian of uh, African descent, and this piece is written in the 40s.
you may recognize the words Yigdal, uh, the composer is, uh, uh, that the tune is attributed to is named Leone. Anyway, an interesting compilation of those two tunes. The next piece is by somebody you might have seen around the temple, Jim Theobald. Some of you may not know he's a composer, but he is. Uh, he, I came across his, uh, his compositions <clears throat> uh, several years ago, maybe 10 years ago, when I was searching for something for brass quintet and organ, and it's called Varieties of Southern Religious Experience. And it was a fascinating suite of five pieces, one of them involving the tuba playing the tambourine to uh, mimic the sound of the snakes in a snake handling uh, religious ceremony. I don't think we'll do that here at the temple, but just when you hear that piece, that's what that's about. This is a piece he wrote for piano, inspired, as I understand it, by his daughter, Jessie, who said, Daddy, can you make a tune out of this? So what composer father could resist a child coming and saying, Daddy, can you make a piece based on this? This is called a Pasacalia, so you'll hear that same theme repeated throughout. It becomes, uh, if you will, a kind of mantra uh, that holds all sorts of different styles together. Sometimes it's loud. Sometimes it reminds me of Copeland or Roy Harris, probably a composer you probably haven't heard of. Um, sometimes ragtime at the end. Sometimes there's just flashes of chords here. Sometimes it's a little ostinato, the same little uh, tune against that original tune. And finally, I, uh, as I understand the composer's sense of humor, at the end, he's just run out of gas and you don't hear the tune at all, but then you hear it reiterated one last time. So Walking on the Keys, which is a Pasacalia on a figure by Jesse, by the composer Jim Theobald.
Thank you, Jim, for sharing that piece with me. Um, Jim gave it to me a few years ago and said, sometime in your spare time, learn this. And so this captured my imagination, and I enjoyed learning it. The final piece I'll play is um, by a composer with a very long name. He's an Italian Jew uh, born in the uh, late 1800s, I think 1895. And he um, got attracted to composing through the music of Debussy, which was all the rage in Italy at the time. And he wrote this piece in the mid-20s called Le Danza del Re David, so uh, the dances of King David. The composer's name is Mario Castelnuovo Tedesco, um, Spanish mother and Italian father, and uh, or the other way around. And he uh, fled Europe, as many talented Jews did, and he landed in Hollywood. So if you've heard a style familiar to this one, you can think Debussy or Hollywood. These are a series of dances that he drew from Sephardic tunes from his mother's father, who was a cantor in one of the synagogues in Italy. And you'll hear some, uh, if they're not familiar tunes, uh, you'll enjoy the tunes. They each have their different character. Some are for the high holidays. Adonai, Adonai uh, is the next to last one. But there are uh, many others. Sometimes they're uh, militant and march-like. Sometimes they're very pensive. He punctuates um, the um, series of dances. He uh, breaks them up sometimes with what he calls uh, squilante quasi shofar type sound. And only yesterday did I get the pun by virtue of reading a dissertation on the piece that the D that keeps repeating as a shofar would uh, in certain calls that the shofar makes is on the pitch D. And if you remember your solfege, it's do, re, mi, fa, so, and so on. But this is the re, the D. So there's king, re, David. So La Danza del Re David by Mario Castelnuovo Tedesco.